just few more weeks and one semester of learning is done. As you look back with all the fun and excitement this course brought you, you look with anticipation what else this industry training can offer. As I have said earlier, your course, everything in it, are neatly planned. Uulitin ko. It all starts with your UTS, understanding the self. And understanding the self is connected in your purpose of communication because you know who you are. You can talk with confidence. And because you talk with confidence, kailangan mo ng ethics para malaman natin, man natin what is morally acceptable at ano naman ang hindi. And with that also, you've been provided with STS. Science, Technology, and Society. Para sa ganon, ang lahat-lahat ng mga natututunan nyo, you can use it for society also. And because of that, being concerned with your community, we have given you MSTP. So in all of the learnings you've got from your general education, kaya nyo gawin yan sa inyong komunidad. Upang sa ganon, hindi naman lalampalang pa. We have provided for you PE. And after PE also, we have the FONDA, Fundamentals, ng inyong kurso, whether it be in tourism or in hospitality industry. And also, you've got the macroeconomics. So, kumpleto na. So, sa inyong second semester, you will be wondering, what else? Ano kayong bibigay sa atin ng ng uh, hospitality at saka ng tourism industry. For myself, I have asked you to write a letter to self because that I wanted na malaman ko kung ano nga ba ang nag-udyok sa iyo na pumasok sa college and ano nga ba ang nag-udyok sa iyo na magpatuloy mag-aral. And then from that, gusto kong malaman mo who you are ayon sa paningin ng iba. So you have your Johari window. And the last but not least, itong katatapos lang natin na my IOP experience. All of these things are being kept in my office dito sa OSAS. And I have that na kapag ka may problema when time comes, for example, pagdating yun ng second year or third year, mawalan kayo ng focus or you feel down, come to my office. And I will show you your letter to yourself. Sa inyong letter to self, marami sa inyong nagsasabing, Four years from now, I would like to read it in my graduation. Or four years from now, gusto ko sanang malaman that this is what I want. Or sa inyo my IOP experience, I have asked you what made you stick to this industry. Stick in tourism and in hospitality industry. And you have written a lot of beautiful things. So whenever you're done, come to my office. Maliban sa inyong tinatawag natin na uh, personality tests, maliban sa inyong mga needs assessment, this will be available for you. Upang sa ganon, whenever you lose your focus, you can come to my office and you can read these letters that you have done for yourself also. And just a few more weeks, those sleepless nights, frustrations with the internet, having no signal, brownout, or hindi magandang weather with your teachers, professors, trainers, and also with the reports and outputs will soon be over. Kaya hang in there. Konting kembot na lang. So, the unparalleled satisfaction in seeing your grades that you've earned or so <laughs> you do not deserve ay makikita nyo na rin. And so, let's start with element three. Element three talks about leverage your knowledge, skills, and values. SKV, skills, knowledge, values. Samantalang pinag-aaral natin lagi, ano? yung knowledge, skills, and attitude. So, 3.1 will be develop healthy habits and practices that lead to unleashing your full potential. And 3.2 will be charter a realistic and promising career plan based on aptitude. And 3.3, represent and express yourself excellently in qualifying for a desired position. And maybe I'm still thinking of that, that you will have a mock interview with me in your oral, final oral assessment, probably for this, sub, uh, for this 
course. And the 3.4 is lead and positively impact others. Okay. Ways that you can reach your fullest potential every day is given sa inyong module na yon. First is focus on the big picture, plan, time management, positive attitude, stay focused on the task at hand, have goals, simplicity, recharge, enjoy each moment. Now, isa-isahin natin. When we say focus on the big picture, it's just like playing puzzle. Kailangan alam mo yung big picture. Bakit? Kapag hindi mo alam yung big picture, hindi mo alam saan ilalagay yung mga maliliit na pieces. Magkaminsan, you are so focused on the small things. Nagme-major ka on minors or you're looking at the small things and you forget the whole picture. But if you know the whole picture, if you focus on the bigger picture at alam mo yung outcome, kagaya ng sinasabi ko sa inyong IOP experience, kung alam mo yung outcome, alam mo yung gusto mong gawin, then madali na lang buuin ang pangarap because you'll know and you see the big picture. And as I have told you before, it's like playing puzzle. You need to complete first yung mga edges o yung mga nasa paligid kasi mas madali yun. And you work your way through it based from those and then you can form the big picture out of those little ones, specific ones. The second one being is that keep your thoughts positive. Okay. Thoughts first. Positive. Because your thoughts become your words. And keep your words positive. Because your words become your behavior. And then keep your behavior positive. Because your behavior becomes your habits. And keep your habits positive. Because your habits become your values. Keep your values positive. Because your values become your destiny. And that is from Mahatma Gandhi. Sa ating evolution of self-concept, alam naman natin yan, no? When positive, you own whatever you think, whatever you imagine, whatever you read, whatever you hear. Kung lahat-lahat ng mga yun ay positive, it gives a positive affect. So, you think of positive things, you see positive things, you read positive things, ang magiging affect, emotion yun, ay positive. And then, ang magiging reaction o magiging action effect noon is also positive. Kaya tama si Mahatma Gandhi, sabi niya, your positive thoughts will become positive words and the positive words will become positive behavior. At ang behavior na positive ay magiging good habits at ang mga habits na yan will become positive values at kapag ka may magandang values, positive values, magiging maganda ang iyong destiny. So, always focus on the big picture. The next one that we need to see also is, ano nga ba yung goals natin? What are the goals that you want to accomplish? Kaya nga, tama yung uh, lagi nating naririg na, na patalas na sa TV. Kanino ka bumabangon? Ano nga ba gusto mong gawin? So, you need to see the bigger picture first para kanino ka bumabangon. And if you know the answer to that, mas madali na lang sagutin ito kasi kagaya ng sinasabi ko lagi sa inyo, when you know the why, the how will be easy. Alam mo na yung why. Bakit ko ginagawa ito? Then, paano gawin? Mas madali na lang na, na isagawa yung papaano. So, that will make things easier. And the next question will be, who do you want to spend most of your time? Seeing the big picture, you need to invest time on that also. Kaya, don't forget, ang unang-una is, focus on the big picture. Jesus himself has said, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Kaya, kapag ka ang treasure mo ang mahalaga sa'yo, is pag-aaral, mag-aaral ka maigi. Kung mahalaga sa'yo pamilya, gusto mo laging kasama mo pamilya. Kung mahalaga sa iyo jowa, gusto mo laging kadikit mo yung jowa. Kung gusto mo talaga makapagtapos ng pag-aaral, then invest more time. Because where your treasure is, 
there your heart be also. That's Luke chapter 12, verse 34. The second one is plan. Plan. I am Peter Turla. Living your life without a plan is like watching television with someone else holding the remote. Napakahirap naman nun. Ha? Wala magiging direction kung ibang bara, ibang tao may hawak ng remote. Um, tuwing manunood ka, nakafocus ka, and iba may hawak ng remote. Maya-maya, iba na naman pinapanood mo. So, plan. It is being said that we don't plan to fail. Wala namang tao talaga nagpla-plano para mag-fail siya. But we fail to plan. So, gano'ng kahalaga ang planning? Napakahalaga niyan. Again, ulitin natin, we don't plan to fail, but we fail to plan. And here's one thing more. If the plan doesn't work, change the plan. Never the goal. If yung ginagawa mo doesn't work, change the approach. Baka yung approach ang, ang problema. So, don't fail to plan. Kaya, you don't plan to fail, but you fail to plan. Another thing, time management. Until you value yourself, you will not value your time. Until you value your time, you will not do anything with it. Kung alam mo kung gaano kahalaga ang iyong oras, ang iyong panahon, then, at alam mo na ang panahon is investment, then mag invest ka doon sa mga treasure mo, doon sa mga bagay-bagay na gusto gusto mo, doon sa mga bagay-bagay na malalapit sa iyo, or doon sa mga bagay-bagay na malapit sa puso mo. So, ang tanong natin, saan mo nga ba ginugugol ang iyong panahon? And I am giving you here, nauna na kagad-agad na nandito, do you spend much time with YouTube? Or do you spend much time with this? Or this? Or that? Kasi whenever you get hooked in any of this, nako, time flies. Maya-maya, sasabihin mo, ah, isa lang panunuurin ko. Or isang game lang. Or isang post lang. Or isang tick lang. Or isang whatever it is. Later on, kita mo, maghapon ka na nakahawak kadudut-dut ng cellphone mo. Okay, time management. Number four, positive attitude. Positive and negative thinking are both contagious. Totoo yun, nakakahawa talaga. Kung positive thinker ang kasama mo, magiging positive thinker ka. Kung negative thinker naman ang kasama mo, maging nega ka din. So, kailangan nating isipin na nakakahawa both, mamili tayo ngayon. Alin ba mas gugustuhin ko? There was this cherky tale na yung The Fight of Two Wolves. And um, ibibigay ko yan at the end of the lesson. And you can just Look for that, the fight of two wolves. That in us, may dalawang wolves na nag-aaway-aaway, naglalaban-laban sa loob natin. At ang question is, sino na nalo? The bad wolf? The white wolf? Or the good wolf? The black wolf? Hindi natin alam kung sino na nalo. But in that tale of the fight of two wolves, yung Cherokee chieftain, sinagot niya ang katanungan na yan. Positive attitude. Ibalik ko sa inyo yung evolution of self-concept. Ano? Yung ating input, if that will be positive, what you see, what you hear, what you read, what you think, magiging positive. At kanyang affect, ang emotion na makuproduce niya, at ang effect, yung outward or action or behavior na positive na emotion pinanggalingan, then magiging positive din yung behavior na makikita ng mga tao na ma lalaman ng mga tao kung ano yung iniisip ko. So, positive attitude. The next number one is yung stay focused on the task at hand. Alam ko na maraming magkaminsan ang gustong gawin ng napakadaming bagay. Um, tawag natin ngayon doon is multitasking. So, si Paul Mayer nagsabi, productivity is never an accident. It is always the result of commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. I like what I have in here, yung state focused, and ano man yung mga bagay-bagay 
na mga nandijan na disturbances. If you stick and stay focused, you will remain focused. Gone are the days kung saan ang mga camera ay kailangan mong i-focus. Kaya gusto gusto ko itong last na nandi dito na, na picture. Stay focused and using that lens. Kasi dati rate, hindi yung uh, itutok mo tapos pindutin mo. Maganda na kagad na resulta. We were used to having cameras at ang camera mo hindi siya auto-focus. Ang camera noong una ay kailangan mong i-focus mo na hanapin mo yung mga edges, hanapin mo yung yung dulo ng mga ng mga t-shirt kundi kaya yung linya ng mga t-shirt, yun ang i-focus mo. Ko <coughs> pagsa ganun hindi blurring ang mga mga pictures na i-take mo. The same thing. You need to stay focused on the task at hand. Kaya kung pag-aaral ang task mo ngayon, mag-aral ka. I stay focused on that, okay? <coughs> Number six will be set goals. Have goals. A goal properly set is halfway reached. Sabi ayon kay Zig Ziglar, okay? And where there is no vision, the people perish. Huwag naman sana na yung goals mo hanggang ngayon bakante pa rin. One, two, three, ano ba ang mga goals ko ngayon? Short-term goals at saka long-term goals kung wala pa rin tayo nasusulat. In goal setting, kailangan mo maging smart. And smart stands for it must be specific. Kailangan talaga specific ko yan. Measurable. Kailangan talaga alam mo kung na, na, na aabot mo ba, na-achieve mo ba, hindi. Achievable, realistic, and then timely. Kaya tinawag siya na smart goal setting. Okay. Have goals. Sa iyong buhay, kailangan mayroon ka talagang gustong makamit, makamutan. And the next one is simplicity. Simplify things. Huwag nang gawing complicated. Free yourself from the complexities of your life. A life of simplicity and happiness awaits you. Kung hindi mo maintindihan ano ang simplicity, siguro o simplify, not complicate, siguro makatulong sa'yo ang taong ito. Okay? And he is gaining a lot of watches, is gaining a lot of um, followers, Just by simply showing us that you don't have to complicate things. Simplify things for that matter. Okay. Being forewarned is forearm. Ngayon at alam mo, now you know. Dapat marunong ka na. Okay. The next one being is recharge. Recharge means take time to recharge your batteries. It's hard to see where you're going when your lights are dim. Ako yung recording yan kay Robert Connolly. Matuto sana tayo mag-rest, mag-rejuvenate, yung isipan, yung katawan, yung kaluluwa. And that will allow us to become re-energized for the next day. And hindi tayo pare-pareho ng style. Um, for me, whenever you're down, eat your comfort food. Di ba? Magkaminsan, ang mga teachers nakagaya ko, kapag ka medyo mahina na, kailangan magkape. <laughs> Or whenever you're, you're getting so much stress, go to your comfort place na wala mo nang manggugulo para may iwasan natin yung burnout. Okay. Um, when we recharge, Natuwa ako dito sa isang ito. So, it means when you recharge, you need to relax. Iwanan mo na lahat ng mga ginagawa mo. Pag sa ganun, makapag-relax ka. Or, you really need to recharge. Alam mo, ang cellphone mo, mawawalan ka ng magiging lobat ka. So, hindi ka aware na ang nangyayari sa buong paligid mo pag hindi ka nag-recharge. So, you need to recharge that. And even yourself, you also need to recharge. For one way of relaxation, siguro, you need to watch batteries not included para makapag-recharge kayo at makapag-relax. Next one, enjoy each moment. To get all days out of living, we must employ our time wisely and never be in too much of a hurry to stop and seek life. But never losing our sense of the innermost value of a minute. Ayun yan kay Robert. Enjoy each moment. 
may mga awitin nga na sinasabing stop and smell the roses. Huwag ka naman mamadali sa biyahe mo na hindi mo na makita yung nasa paligid or kung may pupuntahan ka and hindi mo na ma-appreciate yung dinadaanan mo. Basta gusto mo na makarating doon. No. Enjoy each moment. While driving, enjoy the sight. While visiting, enjoy. While studying, enjoy each learning. Ini-enjoy dapat lahat-lahat yan. Enjoy every moment you have because in life, there are no rewinds. Hindi mo na pwedeng balikan ng kahapon. Only flashbacks. Kaya make sure it's all worth it. Dapat sana sabihin mo, hmm, ganda pala. Kaso hindi ako nag-enjoy nung ando doon ako kasi ang iniisip ko, trabaho. Okay. Another quotation is this, Be happy, enjoy every moment of your life because life is too short to waste on grudges. Laugh when you can, apologize when you should, and let go of what you can change. Enjoy each moment. And that is, this one is the fight of two wolves within you. And the last na makikita mo dun sa baba, nagtanong yung bata, sinasabi niyang, Grandpa, which wolf will win between the bad wolf and the good wolf? And the old Cherokee simply replied, the one you feed. That applies also with you. The good or the bad? Six ways to reach your full potential. First is that you need to realize that hard work beats talent. When talent doesn't work hard. O nga naman, ang dami mga talente na no, may mga taong ang gagaling pero hindi lang nila ginagamit yung talento nila. Yet yung isa ay nagpuprosige. May mga kaibigan na punong kaklase na talaga naman pagka nagbasa, ang daling matandaan, ano, ang daling mag-memorize. So, sa kanila siguro, mag-aaral sila isang oras. At ako, mag-aaral ako ng apat na oras kasi mas bobo ako sa kanila. But, once you realize that, that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Si Kevin Durant, bagamat sa kanyang imposing na height, at sa kanyang galing mag-basketball, sinasabi pa rin niya na hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Ano nga ba naman magagawa mo? We have a very talented na si Iverson. And everyone sinasabing he could have been the GOAT. Yun nga lang, ayaw niya magtrabaho eh. Ayaw niya mag-practice. At ang lagi niya sasabihin ay is, pas gugustuhin ko ang maglaro kaysa mag-practice. So ayaw niya mag-work, mag, mag mag-trabaho. Mag to prepare for that. Or, itong si Conor McGregor ng UFC, ano? So, yung sabi niya, there is no talent here. This is hard work. This is an obsession. Talent does not exist because we are all equals as human beings. You could be anyone. If you put in the time, you will reach the top and that's that. I am not talented. I am obsessed. Kaya, pinapatunayan niya talaga na yung kanyang uh, pagiging champion sa UFC is hindi talaga siya through talent kundi hard work. Okay? The next one is realize that complacency is the enemy. Complacency. Sino ba yung nagpabaya? Naging complacent. Oh, we all know the story of ang pagong at ang rabbit. That the rabbit thought na napakalayo pa ni Pagong, kaya pwede pa siyang mag-relax and relax lang muna ng kaunti. Being complacent. And nakatulong. Kaya naunahan si ni Pagong. Being complacent also can be shown with this. I've worked here for 20 years and have never made a mistake. And so he thought that on that particular day, hindi niya talaga kailangan maging alert at all times while Alarm is sounding in here and there. At makikita natin yung mga alarm sa kanyang pagiliran. Ano? Complacency. Being complacent. There was once a company that was leading. Kung inabutan nyo yung Nokia. Cultural complacency and the urgency of change management. Ang complacency. Naging complacent ang, ang Nokia. At ang nangyari tuloy is that Nawala ang Nokia. 
in-overpower sila, in-overcome sila ng iba. We didn't do anything wrong. Yun nga sabi ng, ng kanilang president, but somehow we lost. That's complacency. By definition, complacency is a feeling of quiet pleasure or security. They felt so secured, often while unaware of some potential danger, defect, or the like. Self-satisfaction or smug satisfaction with an existing situation or condition. Complacency. Number six is, six ways to reach your full potential is three, set and keep on setting goals. Pag kami naiset ka na goal, achieve, susunod na naman. Kagaya ng may mga bucket list tayo, no? Nagawa ko na to, next. Nagawa ko na to, next. And Keep on setting goals. Huwag masatisfy ko doon sa nat- natapos na. Huwag din doon sa record. Records are set to be broken. Kapag ka nakapag-set ka ng bagong record, mag-set ka ulit ang panibagong record. Keep on setting goals. Number four is have confidence being you. And here are the difference of being a confident and being insecure. And the things are given there. So, Magtiwala because you now know who you are. Understanding the self, you know your potentials. SWOT analysis tinatawag natin. Yung yung strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Have confidence in you and celebrate you. The five, fifth one is, understand the saying failure is the prerequisite to success. Marami yung sasabing failure is not the prerequisite of success, but failure should drive you for success. Sinasabi nga ni Albert Einstein that nagkaroon siya ng 99% that didn't work. And ang tawag niya doon, hindi failure. But I have found 99 ways that didn't work. And on the 100, yun ang naging success para sa kanya. Kaya failure, the only gap to getting that success is learning. Learn from your mistakes. And number six is develop and unstoppable internal drive. Kagaya daba tayo ng Energizer Bunny. It keeps going and going and going and going. Dapat ganun ang ating, ang ating isipan. If you fail, tayo ulit. Fail, tayo ulit. Keep going. Keep on going. Kung pwede nga lang sanang gamitin natin yung word na insatiable. Walang katapusan or walang uh, hindi na sasatisfy. Those are six ways to reach your full potential. Then the next one is yung seven concrete steps to reach your full potentials. Ay, ito siya, reflect on your life. Saan na nga ba ako? Every now and then, I ask myself to have self-inventory. And I always see you progress. And I reflect on that. That's why sometimes I offer myself na maging halimbawa. Sabi ko nga, pinagsabihan ako noon na mahirap ka pa sa daga. And then, here am I. First and foremost, I'm grateful. Pagpasalamat ako sa Panginoon. Pero, here am I. And you should reflect on your life. Become an optimist. When you look at things, you look on the positive side. And, Keep on setting goal. Tapos, i-define mo sino ang role model mo. Hindi dapat yung role model mo, BTS. Hindi dapat yung role model mo, uh, yung role model at saka, don't live somebody else's dream. Live your own dreams. Huwag yung, ito gusto ko maging, ito gusto ng nanay mo maging, ito gusto ng, ng tito mo maging, ganito ka. And then, learn to be grateful. Walang mawawala kapag ka mapagpasalamat ang isang tao. Learn to be grateful. Be thankful. Whatever your condition is, alam mong mas nakakaangat ka ng kaunti kaysa iba. Don't compare yourself with others na mas mataas o mas magandang kalagayan kaysa sa'yo. So be grateful and become a lifelong learner. Di ba? Change is the end result of true learning. Kaya the only time na magiging stagnant ka, kapag ka tumigil ka na sa pag-aaral. When you think that you have attained or you have become what you want to be, magiging pamad ka na. So, magiging stagnant ka and you will be stuck into that. And embrace change. 
change is the only thing constant sa mundong ibabaw. And because change is the end result of all true learning, embrace change. Ang mga hindi nagbago, ang hindi nag-embrace ng change, kagaya ng mga dinosaurs, naging extinct. Tayo man din, we need to embrace change. They come, they go. Embrace change. And that concludes your element 3.1. Point to charter a realistic and promising career plan based on aptitude that will be next.